Welcome to Show Up and Glow. My name's Jalen. This is my cozy corner, a space created just for you to tune in and chill out. If this interests you, I invite you to find some headphones, a quiet space, and join me for a calming and comforting experience. If this is not for you, that is okay. I appreciate you stopping by. As you notice yourself enjoying your stay, please be sure to like and subscribe for more of this calm and cozy vibe. Now let's get started. We're gonna chit chat a little bit today. Y'all ever do this with your hands? Create like a heat between it. So cool. So cool. You ever do that where you like rub them really fast and then pull them apart and you can feel the energy between your hands? Ooh, that is some cool, cozy stuff right there, my friend. That is a cool vibe. That is a cool feeling. Today, we're going to talk about slowing down and um, the magic that is slowing down. Mm hmm. Because it's really magic. That's what they say. It's magical. It's magical. It's magical. Probably not. I have a couple little friends with me today. Per use. Sleepy. best nighttime sleepy lotion on the market. This stuff is amazing. It comes in a bubble bath, comes in a bath bomb, comes in a pillow spray, comes in this awesome body lotion. And like the texture of this lotion, The texture of this lotion is unmatched. It is worth every stinking penny. And in today's economy, that's saying a lot. So to really get sleepy and get calm and slow it down, I'm gonna show my hands in my arms, a little bit of love with this fabulous lotion, a little bit of TLC with this fabulous lotion. So while I show my little arms and my little hands a little TLC, you know, get cozy wherever you are. Start to allow yourself to just get still for just a little bit of time. A little bit of time that you spend here in the cozy corner with me. Stuff is just so nice. 
such a luxurious notion. And then I found this Palo Santo spray, um, protection mist. So we're gonna spray a little bit of this today. Should have taken the cap off before the lotion. I really felt, I just feel like if it's been sitting over here this whole time, I have a little, a little cart over here with my cards and my lotions and my sprays. I cannot believe I haven't seen that one lately. It's very strange. So today I want to talk about slowing down and the magic that is slowing down. There was a period time in my life where everything was very go, 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 go. And I had not yet found meditation. I had not yet found breathing. You know, like deep breathing, like I was breathing, but not, not the same type of breathing. I had not yet found stillness that is accessible to us 24 7 and when I did something magical happened yes when I did start to find this stillness this slowdown this peace I started to notice more around me I started to become more present in my everyday life with people around me by myself I started to become aware of the sensations in my body that were trying to speak to me regularly whether that's your intuition or gut feeling pains joy and I wanted to talk with you about that today because every time you come into the cozy corner that is the ultimate goal is to help you find that peace and that stillness um, to help be a steward of that so that way you're not alone doing it I remember when I would try and find that peace and stillness and I enjoy being alone I enjoy being by myself and I think that that is important but sometimes sometimes I would work myself up also and I couldn't be with myself to calm down myself had just worked myself up and it was hard for me to come back down from that
here you are spending X amount of time with someone doing something unedited, unscripted, just naturally. If you've never watched Bob Ross, that's what it is. It's him talking and him painting and him creating this beautiful scene and there's no cuts. It's just one take. It was, I mean, that's pretty revolutionary at the time whenever he was doing that for them to be doing that on TV, but it was amazing and impressive. And that connection I felt to the present moment, like going through that with him on this painting journey before TikTok really was taken off, before, I mean, Instagram was around, but before Reels, before our minds started getting really kind of warped with quick content and quick cuts and edits, there's something so peaceful and grounding and, and stable stilling stilling there's a, there's a stillness in that when you can just watch something or be with someone um, completely in the present moment and the quickest way for us to calm ourselves down whether you visit the cozy corner and you find that time whether you turn on Bob Ross maybe you don't have that at your fingertips at the moment and you're like oh my gosh I just need to slow down it's to literally and physically slow down whatever you're doing maybe you find that you're driving too fast in your car or you're like oh my gosh I just need to slow down like I can't believe I'm going this fast or I need to just slow down it's changing lanes getting into a slower lane and going the speed limit Maybe it's, you're also in your car, and your mind is racing, and you're like, I gotta turn this mind off. It's turning on some classical music, maybe. Maybe you're at home, and you feel scattered, and that you, you just, you know that feeling, you know that feeling of being worked up, of your, of your body vibrating with an energy that feels jittery, or just excited and you're like I want to calm this it's then putting the phone down moving slower stepping outside possibly sitting on the ground touching some grass looking up at the sky just taking a moment to connect again to the stillness that surrounds us every day. The stillness of the present moment that can only be captured when you are fully present in it. Yes, we have the birds moving around us and yes, we have the cars moving around us. But if you can really go outside and just Stare at a tree. Why does it look cold? It's going to soften the chat. You might be lazy in motion because you're so overwhelmed and you didn't realize that just a simple amount of going outside and staring at something still could allow you to move it. So just know that whenever you're starting to feel a little bit like frazzled, a little bit like, oh, I'm doing too much, like, I, like you just, you, we all have been there. Usually it's caused by our brain overthinking, 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 and now the body is feeling agitated. It's taking that moment to slow down find that stillness I mean I'm talking it could be for 90 seconds folks it doesn't have to be a full cozy corner video I'm telling you it just takes a little bit of time to focus your mind on something else 
to get you out of your head, to come to that present moment, that stillness. So try it. Try it this week. Try it when you feel yourself getting worked up. Try it when you feel yourself getting too in your head, when your body starts feeling too um, aggravated. Now that we're transitioning into fall, I personally find that the body doesn't get as aggravated and agitated as the summertime. I digress. Now that we are transitioning into the fall, I find that the body is starting to relax more. I heard something recently that was saying like, if you yourself experience um, kind of like a hyperactivity or um, you know, have trouble focusing or you're just kind of a scatterbrained or you suffer from any type of thing that uh, kind of keeps you in your head that the change in weather is like scientifically proven to slow our nervous system down and it almost makes us feel like we're at peace and like we're safer when the weather starts changing into fall because of this like ideal temperature and there are places like that on this earth that we can literally go live and choose to live there forever where this temperature is like just right and it made so much sense to me even now like as we're transitioning into the season it's not the days are not as hot where I live they're still warm but I find myself being outside or driving or even in my house my home is not feeling as warm anymore But I noticed that little things that aggravated me just three weeks ago in the peak of summer don't so much right now. The same thing could happen, same little annoyance, but because the weather and the heat outside is not so just overpowering, my body has time to just kind of process what's going on. And when you find that stillness and that, that calm in the day, it just makes a world of difference on everything. It's just really hard to find that stillness when it's 110 degrees outside and the real feel is like 120. It's insane, it's insane, it's insane. So watch yourself this week. Notice if you were feeling like you need a little break. And again, maybe you cannot come to the cozy corner in that moment so just find a way to slow down whatever you're doing I'm telling you it works it works it works it works and then you build upon it and you catch yourself slowing down and you catch yourself taking just a little longer to walk up those stairs to do that work. Because what are we rushing for? Unless you're taking a timed test, what are we ever rushing for? To be honest, let's think about that. What are we ever rushing for? Especially if you're not in school anymore. Especially if you're an adult living in the world. like. What are we rushing for, people? What are we rushing for? Even if you're running late, slow down. You'll get there. What are we rushing for? What's the point of rushing? 
Why do we, why? So catch yourself rushing this week. I know I will. And then just bring it on in. Bring it on in. Slow it down. Take a moment to feel the space. To find presence because we don't find presence in the rushing. We find presence in the stillness. And in the peace. You can always come back to the cozy corner to find that stillness and to help you calm down. I encourage you to. We got a whole library here for you. Lots of different ways to calm down. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'll see you again real soon. <laughs>